Welcome to this five minute lesson in advanced shell script programming. The topic of this lesson is the character class Alnum. And this character class contains or references all of the letters and digits in the current language class or the current language set. And the reason you use these character classes is to internationalize your code, your shell scripts, so that they can be used with any uh, language set. So let's see how that works. Uh, you can see from this, from the top portion here, I'm creating a bunch of different files in the current directory, and those files uh, can contain uppercase letters, they can contain underscores, um, it can have lowercase letters and dots and dashes. Uh, these file names can also be uh, consist of just numbers so there are files in there that are only have numbers in them and you can see uh, files that have colons in them so a bunch of different types of file names so the way we would use the alnum character class with this is we would tell it to uh, for instance if we were wanting to get a list of the files in the current directory that contained three or four characters that were only letters or numbers then we could use the alnum character class to say give me uh, give me a give me the list of files that has one character in the alnum character class followed by another character in the alnum character class followed by another character in the alnum character class followed by zero or one occurrences of another character in the alnum character class. And the way I'm saying zero or more is by using this pattern operator question mark. So I'm specifying a pattern of zero or more occurrences of whatever is between these parentheses. And in this instance, it's the alnum character class. So what I'm asking for here is three is our file names that have three characters from the alnum character class followed by zero or more characters from the alnum character class and you can see that that is what we get we have file names here that it returned that have three or four characters three or four characters and they contain only numbers and did or I'm sorry only numbers and uh, letters upper or lowercase letters so we can use that also with our for loop. And in this instance, we are simply uh, using the same pattern again with our for loop. And we're assigning each file that it finds to the F shell variable. And then we are echoing the value of the F shell variable to standard output. And we see that we get back the same list of files. And in this instance, we're using a for loop again but we are using the star character here to specify all files in the current directory so it's going to go through every single file all of the files here in the directory and it's going to assign each one to the value of f or to the variable f and it's going to loop through every single file and do a double square bracket test on the file and it's going to test the value of f to determine if it matches that pattern. And again, we're using the same pattern. So it's going to determine, does that file name have one, two, three characters from the alnum character set, followed by zero or one occurrences of another character from the alnum character set? And if so, echo that to the screen and we see that we get back again the same list of files. So the difference between this for loop and this for loop is that in this instance the shell is gathering up the list of files, the list of files that matches that pattern and, and for the for loop before the for loop starts and then the for loop is simply going through each file name that already matched the pattern. In this instance it's gathering up all files and then performing performing a double square bracket test to determine if the value matches that pattern. That is the end of this lesson. 
Uh, if you would like to be notified of any future lessons that are posted, please subscribe. And thank you for watching.